And we're back with some more Rimworld out here on the ice sheet. And Slim has come a long, long way from starting with, well, practically nothing. Okay, it's a little bit of steel and, and, and some meals. In fact, we still have those starting meals right there. Oh, research complete. We've got carpet making. That's nice. That's going to come in handy once we expand our hydroponics a bit. Next, uh, probably gas operation. I'm liking the idea of chain shotguns and heavy SMGs. Yes, please. All right, but uh, for now, when it comes down to the kill box, the, uh, the votes are in, and it's overwhelmingly in favour of the Singularity killbox. killbox. Problem is, we can't actually afford to build that just yet. It, it's pretty cheap comparatively to some of the killbox designs, but we still can't afford it. So instead, we're going to start with the corner killer. Then I figure we go to the, uh, the power-based one, or the one that has the generator at the top of it to mess with the enemies. And then we'll finally go to the Singularity killbox. We'll just try, try them all. We might as well have a look at a lot of them and see how they all work out, and which ones are the most broken. Then maybe at the end we'll go through a traditional kill box, after we've had a taste of the lot. Well, done. This is a corner kill box. Uh, basically, we've stuck in doors here, 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 and here, and here, which means people can stand there, 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 and there, and stab people sideways without them being able to stab back. It's horribly broken. Uh, we'll give that a quick go. Anyway, that'll keep us going until we get a few more recruits. We're actually producing enough food that, yeah, I think we can actually hire more people. In fact, our power supply, we could probably chuck in one more wind turbine and just start stacking on the hydroponics. The big limiting factor here will be components, though we do have... Eh, we think we've got, yeah, three more ship chunks. That's another 15 components lying around the place. I think we can almost fill out half of our hydro right now. Would you look at that? It's our first inspiration. Jerick Dane got a go frenzy. Right. Nice. Okay, they'll move faster. I mean, it's not really very useful to us, but uh, at least we've got an inspiration for the first time in the whole game. Only after 137 days. Well, that goes to show just how high our mood has been the entire time. Will wonders never cease? It's, an, it's another inspiration. It's an inspired trade for Slim. I suppose they got married recently, so this is kind of helping out. The maxed out mood. Eh, okay. Uh, we're moving our science in here. We're pr Yeah, we're going to have to give them a light if we wanted them to do that anyway quickly. This should be upgradable later on as well to do better science. And doors and such like. Actually, wait a minute. Let me move all, as much of this stuff out of here as possible so we see just how much space we can reclaim. While moving everything around, we've got a slave ship passing by. In fact, we got a couple of quests, but honestly, these I didn't even bring these up. This one's way too many people. They'll just wipe us out all for maybe 10 Luciferium. I would like that Luciferium. And then we've got hosting friends. We'd have to host people, seven tribes people, for 24 days. No. Just... No, we don't have the space. Uh, but we... We do have a trade ship passing by of slaves, and we can sell them all those plain leather tail caps. Learn from our mistakes, turn all the stuff into plain leather tail caps so you can at least sell it on to someone. And that gives us 483 silver, and I'm thinking maybe grab some beer with that, or oh, actually components. Yeah, I think we'll take all your components, sir. Thank you kindly. Now comes the rather painful bit. I am going to take this comms console, and I am going to build it in here. Now, I know what you're thinking, but isn't that a case of you've now got two comms consoles yes we will have to deconstruct the other one that is going to waste resources but at the time this was very necessary now we actually have a bit of resources and hey destroying some of our wealth is not the worst thing in the world our wealth is already miles out of control so this actually helps bring it down a little bit and blight perfect um guys i'm going to need you to cut that stuff before it spreads to the psychoid as quickly as possible in fact we are going to start manually telling people to get rid of that we were actually pretty lucky with that. The rice was only at 6% grown. That actually not too bad. All right, uh, where were we? Ah, yes, this is the comms console is up and running. We now have a second one. And, oh, our reputation with the, Re F the Refugee Empire is plus 34, which is excellent for us. That's because we saved two of their people and let them go. Well, it was after their group got ambushed by this thing, which reminds me I should go deconstruct that for more, salt, more uh, steel. But... I'm kind of okay with the sunblocker, to be honest. I was really hoping to get a sunblocker off the map so he could go with the darkness meme for extra fun. Ooh, gift from Randy. Cargo pods. More steel. Excellent. And iguana meat. I'll take it. And let me send someone over to grab that. And scooped clean. Every single scrap. We need to start grinding that all up. We're, uh, we're out of sandstone. We have 14 sandstone blocks left. Now, this little steel mini turret here, this is to cause enemies to pop out of each other. You know where they group up and they can suddenly push through a place? Well, this makes sure they pop out before they start going through our little weird killbox choke pointy thing. 
Actually, none have showed up yet. Uh, I'm betting it's going to be, temperature-wise, it's minus 26 outside. The chance of humans? Slim. But while we are here, we're going to put ourselves together a wind turbine. Uh, I don't think I'm going to let Gus finish that, though. What's your construction at? Seven? Oh, actually, wait. Never mind, they're eight. Eight means 100% chance of completion. Excellent. That puts us up to four turbines. I think that should take care of our power problems for, well, the reasonable future. I want to get another battery, but later, later. For now, what we can do is grind up the rest of the steel, uh, grind up all of those corpses, and then we're going to start deconstructing this. In fact, we're going to start doing that now. You can go, 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 and you can go. This leaves us this little mini fridge here, and then the rest we can start filling in with more productive hydroponics. And Randy's now gifting us a transport pod. I am getting very concerned. When was the last time we actually had a problem? Mechanoid cluster on the 11th of Jug. Okay, Septo- We're all the way through September. What's going on? Oh, yeah, we should probably figure out if this person is worth keeping. Let's see, Night Owl and Kind. Okay, social animals, melee shooting. You do not look that bad at all. If we could keep you alive, I would be more than happy. Okay, who's moving the fastest today? Well, we just about managed to get to them in time. Perfect. Uh, I've even stuck them in this room because ooh, you go back and clean that room. It's uh, it's absolutely filthy right now, and it's not helping with the tend quality. All right, if they join us, that would actually be great. If they don't, uh, arrow army. What? The hell are the arrow army? Oh, they're hostile to us. Uh, does that mean they're a prisoner now or a guest? You know what? If it's a problem, we'll just beat them about the place. Well, Tarth makes up their mind. We're going to install a bunch of extra hydroponics. I think three more, probably one more after that. We've got the... Yeah, we definitely got the steel and we got the components for it. So why not? More food, more... Uh, the moment we put it into a building, it becomes worth less. So spending it is better than just leaving it around in raw stockpiles. One other thing we have to do is add in another heater in here. Uh, the problem is it's down to like zero degrees. The room's gotten bigger. It's actually more into the depths of winter. So a third a third heater is just essential. Oh, wind turbine repairs. Yeah, this is going to be a constant drain on us. Because we have so many electrical comp devices, as in wind turbines and hydroponics, it's going to cost us, it's going to be a slow but steady drain on our components. So I need to be really careful about that. However, we don't really have much choice. Um, It's just the only way we survive out here is via tech. Now, while we wait for this person to wake up and probably not join- I'm mad, Snow here. Randy. You're drunk, Randy. Go home. What you, what's, what's going on here? Yeah, we'll, we'll deal with that in a minute. Um, We have this thing out here, the ideogram. And I think we've got enough steel now that we can move it somewhere a little bit more appropriate. And the better the room it's in, the better the chances of our stuff working out. So up to 120 impressiveness. The problem is all our rooms are terrible. Uh, awful. Awful. Just, uh, god-awful. And just, yet yeah, oh, horribly awful as well. Except for this room. Yep, our wind turbine room is somewhat impressive. Uh, I, I get it. I mean, I suppose they are pretty impressive to look at, so let's build one of these over here. Uh, there should be perfect. Actually, let's give us a little bit of room. I have no idea if this interferes with wind turbines. If it does, I guess we'll find out pretty quick. Side note on this, if you're trying to train up construction, these things look amazing for it. It's about 400 work to make them and only 50 resources. So, as long as you cancel it before it's done as well, you get all the resources back from construction projects, which is odd. You don't get it back when you're doing clothing or crafting something, but if you're doing a construction project, the moment you cancel it, it's... Ooh, I think they're coming. All right, we'll give this a go then. Yeah, they're headed down this way. Jarek, get over there. They should be able to... Yep, yeah, see the way they can smack the rabbit through the hole? And perfect. Over and equip that thrombo horn while you're waiting. Gray... Seriously, Gray, that, that's it? That's all you've got? But what is your melee skill? Four. Oh, yeah, you're pretty terrible. Uh, this might not be as easy as I was hoping. Jarek just did all the work there. Good good job, Jarek. Good job. And that's pretty much how it's going to work. But hopefully we'll have, you know, if the humans come along, we should have more time to get everyone in position and we'll have all five of us in here. All right. Uh, yeah, this. Well, it is now time to try converting Jarek again. I actually kind of held off on converting them. Their certainty is at 30%. I figured if we could do it this way, we might gain more religious points. So yeah, and if we can't do it this way, then fine. I'll just uh, I'll do it the hard way. So right now, actually, right, 
0 0.06%. I want to crank up our odds as high as possible. So I'm just going to wait until this uh, the last one has worn off, which is 0.42% of a day and we'll be good. Well, a combat supplier has come by, which is not really that useful to us. We'll give them a call. We need a powered orbital trade. Fine, I have to keep installing this every time. It'd be really nice if we had lots of power, but there's nothing we can really trade with them. Uh, I suppose we can trade them that bow we find lying around the place. Uh, let's see what they do have, and we'll put our silver over there as well. I would really like to get my hands on that shield belt. That would actually come in quite handy for some melee blocking. Hmm. Problem is, we can't afford it. Yet. Uh, we do have... Yeah, we have Thrumblefur in storage. We have this right here, and we can put ourselves together a tail cap made of Thrumblefur. That should get us over the line. That is one good quality Thrumblefur tail cap. Now, let's see what they say. How much money you've been at? 204. Right. Uh, we should probably throw together a few more of those, actually. Yeah, we'll, we'll take the shield belt. Thank you very much. Now, if only you had a warg, a female warg for hope, we could call her despair. We'll leave the shield belt right there beside the thrombo horn. For now, we're going to keep everyone with rifles. I like the flexibility, or with guns. I like the flexibility that brings. And, ooh, those batteries got low today. It's time we got rid of this mess. And one more. Done. Right. Yeah, sunblocker has been destroyed. We've got sunlight back for however long it lasts out here on the rim. That's the problem with building solar out here. It only, it only works half the, the year round. Works great half the year. The other half of the year, you get absolutely nothing. Now let's deconstruct all of this and bring it home with us. Oh, another thing I realized. Yeah, this person's not a friend or anything like that. They're, they're basically an enemy of ours and we, we've just sort of put them in a bed. So we're going to strip them, I suppose. And then we're going to make this uh, for prisoners. Uh, I think that's probably our best bet. Uh, I Can we strip them because they're in the bed? Yeah. And then if we put, say... What happens if we change this to a prisoner bed? Are they going to go nuts? Nope, they're still down. Capture. Excellent. All right, then. You're ours. Now we just have to feed you and make sure you get turned over to our side. In fact, I'm going to convert you immediately. The reason we want to convert them is that gives us one point for our religion. More points for our religion, the better. Uh, which reminds me. We still have to convert Jarek. Damn it! Oh, one other thing I'm doing. Selling that shield core we picked up earlier. I was going to keep it, but we don't have the tech to utilize that or anywhere close. And as well as that, we can pick up a few components. Uh, always be, by, oh, was it always buy components, ABC? Perfect, perfect, perfect. And there's nothing really else there, nothing there we'd really, really want. Well, don't get me wrong, I'd love a plasma sword. That would do, oh, yeah, some of these weapons would be amazing. Oh, that do, no, no, we've got everything we need for now. We're good, we're good. We've actually managed to dump some of our wealth and turn it into stuff that we can use. Uh, Gus, no, don't go home. You're going to load up on some stuff first. We can vacuum a place clean so quick, it's incredible. Uh, we do have a few pikemen and stuff left to haul off, but, you know, we can get around to those in a second. It's the slag chunks and all that with the caravan trick. You can so drain a place. Uh, right now, though, we've got a problem. Tarth is on the warpath. They are a little bit unhappy. I kind of thought they were a cannibal person, so I sort of fed them a raw person. Uh, oops, that made them a little bit unhappy. But uh, I think a little bit of hope might sort them out. Actually... Never mind, I think we can actually, I think we can repair the door faster than they can hit it. Yeah. Um, I suppose we, if we go back in, we risk killing them. I suppose we can leave Slim out here to take care of it. Hope you can wander off for a bit. Slim, Slim can take care of this. They're well rested. They can repair this for the next few hours. God damn. Nope, come back. I messed up. Never mind, I didn't. I mean, this does seem like a bit of an overreaction. We saved their life and gave them a nice warm room. Like, what the hell? Ooh, is that a... a rabbit? Hey, someone get over here and kill the rabbit. Ooh, I know who can help out. Well, the rabbit did get to eat one of our incredibly precious uh, packaged survival meals, which we've never used yet. Uh, but now it's taken care of. Oh, you, repair that door. I keep having to remind them. Well, this is taking too long, so I've got an idea. Uh... Also, I, Jarek can't keep up with the repair speed, so I'm going to get Slim to help out by doing that. There we go. Cost us two and a half steel on average, and they are now no longer bothering us. And we get to repair the door diagonally. 
Should have done that ages ago. Saved a whole bunch of time. I was busy doing a bit of corpse disposal when this showed up. It's a mechanoid raid, and it's not good. It's a breacher. They've bought themselves a termite. They've also got three scythers, and they've got five lancers. We're in trouble. We're in a lot of trouble. But, eh, uh, trouble is kind of what you expect out here. All right, we need to get everyone together. Gus, mm, should you keep the grenades or not? Actually, I'm going to need time to come up with a plan. But first, I kind of got to get someone to uh, feed Tarth. He's, he's, he's come down from all of that rage, and now he's taking a nap. But uh, malnutrition is 72%. If we don't feed them now, we're probably going to not get around to feeding them before the mech's hit. Then again, after the mech's hit, maybe we won't be feeding anyone. Well, the plan is very simple. We won't know where they're going until they get here. So, uh, deconstruct that. You, no. We're going to need you in the field. You've got the last charge on that Psychic Insanity Lance, and that is going to be clutch here. Uh, you, prioritize feeding that one. Uh, you, get outside. Everyone else, bunch up. And what's your speed? You have, ah, yep, you've got a move speed of 6.44 because you're feeling very buzzed. Should we give you a rifle? Actually, a rifle might be a better idea. Uh, just more range, the better. Okay, rifle acquired. Uh, you two, stay there. Okay, you, get down here. If we can turn the termite against them, that will make our lives a lot simpler. Ooh, we might have to get dangerously close to Lancers to do it, but that is what we're going... Oh, God, stop. Okay, there, perfect. And perfection. Now, who do we want to hit? I think... I think the Scythers are probably... Damn it. I'm trying to think. You see, if we hit... We, we don't want to hit the termite. We don't care about that. That's going to get killed by these. Now, there's five Lancers, three Scythers. Scythers are probably the highest DPS, but the Lancers are the ones that could one-shot you. Hmm. But I think we got to go for the Scythers. Yeah, well, sorry. There's three Scythers, and if we take those out, it makes dealing with the Lancers a lot easier. We can get in in close combat, get them into uh, bad locations. So I think we target this Scyther while we're here. Uh, anyone else want to get involved? No, none of you are... Ghost, what are you doing? Taking iguana meat inventory? No, and what are your needs at? Ooh, you need to grab a beer. Yeah. Actually, drink a Psychite tea. Psychite tea will keep you nice and pepped up, but shouldn't cause us any problems. Okay, you drink that. Jarek? Yeah, we're going to have to kill him, but... Ooh! Very little damage. Caused a crack. Oh, yeah, it's to be expected. And it's already down. Well, that's bad. Hmm. Well, Jarek's still faster. 6.44, they're 3.6... Or they're 4.7. We use Jarek to drag them around. Uh, if he can keep them from going, getting too close to anyone, we should be fine. We can play Peekaboo, or we can play Choppy. Either way. If we play Peekaboo, we can pop out the doors and shoot him in the back. That's assuming they keep following us. I think they're gonna... Yeah, they're gonna be wonky for a second. All Lancers. You know what? I will shoot the Lancers if we got it. And... Run! Okay, that was a terrible shot. Hmm... All right, from what I can see, they're designed to just keep attacking walls. They're not going to come after us so long as there's walls to attack. So I say we pop out and start shooting. Uh, actually, Grey Ghost is probably better at this. You see, the thing is, those Lancers, they can hurt us. We need to stay at maximum range, as in rifle range, to, do, to be safe about this. Oop, oop. Right, watching for targets. Well... You won't find a target in us. Okay. You, get in here. Join Jarek at missing. Dear Lord, you guys suck. All right. They're shooting a wall. Uh, Slim. Give us another wall segment there, Chief. Actually... Create a stockpile of steel right there. And then we're going to move that steel over. God damn it, one second. I need to mess with the stockpile zones. All right, we're going to haul over the steel. That way, as they shoot through the walls, we have a good chance of replacing them in time. Guys, you're in a shooting competition with a Lancer. That call That's just called bad. Still got perfect sight as well. Hmm. UT need to back off a little bit. 
Yep. Back off to right there if you wouldn't mind. Oh, slim. All right, they're breaking through the wall too quick. We need to go back inside. Damn it. Okay, we can get them here. We can get them at the entrance. Yeah, that might be our best bet. That's assuming they don't... Yeah, yeah, that's our only hope. You, uh... Mm, damn it. Let me think for a sec. I figure we keep Jarek outside. They can keep trying to distract. Uh, we bring everyone else back inside. And... Yep, yeah, here comes hope as well. Uh, attacking Jarek. Jarek, pull back a little bit further, buddy. You're gonna get yourself killed staying over there. Gus is moving. Slim, get over here. Grey Goose, Grey Ghost, equip that. Right, get the two of them over there. Fine's fine. You, shoot them. Do at least some damage to them. Just go down already. Oh, a hit. Uh, you, get to there. Can you shoot any of them? Okay. Slim. Stay there, I suppose. Ghost, stay there. Seem to be attacking the wall. All right. Uh, I almost feel like I should have brought more guns. Okay, you're still attacking the wall. That's fine. We'll just skirt around here and shoot as many of you as you possibly can while you're doing that. Uh, Gus, are you the best person to be using this gun right now? Eight. Nine. Yeah, you know what? Between changing it over, it wouldn't be worthwhile. We can kill one more. Ooh. Nice shot. What'd you hit? Uh, maybe target... That's Scyther, if you wouldn't mind. I'd like the Scyther's dead first. Or just miss entirely. Uh, never mind, take out that one. He's already injured. You. Fire at will. Oh, you had grenades. That's why you weren't firing at will automatically. Uh, okay, melee attacking, melee attacking. Well, this gets interesting now. Pull back a tab, if you wouldn't mind. You can get in there. Shoot the closest one. And I've been keeping an eye on Derek. Derek, run! Oh my god, you're dueling with two Lancers with no cover. Okay, but you're doing your job. You're distracting like crazy. Who's down? Slim? Oh yeah, that's a problem. Okay, okay. They got one site there left. Gus, seriously. Thank you. All right, all right. Slim's down. Gear wise, hmm. Eating at nine hours. That's not good. Hmm. Let me think for a second. I need to realize how age, how much trouble we're in. Like they're gonna keep shooting at those walls. These ones are wandering around like crazy outside, and we need some way of breaking them up into chunks. All right, I think, I think for now we keep up the status quo. Uh, Grey Goose, Grey, <laughs> I keep gonna call them Grey Goose, aren't I? Grey, Ho Grey Ghost tends to slim while they're lying there. We can't really move them out of the way, so do what you got to do. We let Gus just keep firing because they're doing an excellent job. Uh. You are doing also wonderful work right there. Pull back a little bit. Um, come on. Oh, we should probably actually get you out of the way there. Second, we are going to make a quick medical bed to get uh, Slim out of the way. Oh, wow. Uh, you should probably run away a little bit more. Are we in range? Eh, not quite. Okay. Grab them and spirit them away. And then... Tend them with medicine, if you wouldn't mind. Tend... No, not without medicine. There you go. There's three medicine right there. That should help. Oh! Jarek. Excellent work. 
Excellent work. Another one bites the dust. I want you to get in there tight against the wall. Tight against the wall. Don't shoot the scyther. Shoot the lancer. Okay, you can't get a bead on the lancer. What if you're over here? Can you get a bead on the lancer? Damn it. Hmm. Oh. No. Run. I am being far too dangerous with this. Okay. Okay. All going actually pretty well. The two scythers I'm still worried about. This one, not so much. Can you get it there and take a shot? Damn it, this guy is just... He hides well. He hides well. Oh, he just destroyed a wall segment for us. Well, that's going to make your hiding a little bit harder. Another one bites the dust. Jesus, Jarek, you are just doing the Lord's work out here. What's your at? Shooting is at 13. Oh, I think one of the scythers has uh, figured out who we are. Oh, great ghost. Get back here. Okay, we're going to get Gus out of the way. Great, you're coming back. Uh, you are... What the hell are you doing? Stay right there. Great, get right there. Right. I hate I hate Scythers so much. You, uh, you need to get in closer. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh. Second one. Well, that's not good. Hope is also down. Uh, we're in trouble. Slim, how you doing? You are out for the count. You are not getting involved in this again. Well, that's a problem. Uh, Ghost is the only one still standing. Um. Yeah, sorry, buddy. Uh, this is what it comes down to. You immediately start shooting them. Oh, please go down. Bees go down. Just drop, for the love of God and all that is holy, just... Okay. The only reason you're still standing is the go juice. Hell of a drug. Hell of a drug. Okay, you, uh, medic yourself. You, uh... You, get down and start teaching that Lancer. Oh. Right. Well, that hurt. That hurt a lot. Let's make sure there's no... Yeah, no, nothing too permanent. Gus, how you doing? You're fine. Jerick? You're a legend, but also incredibly lucky. You should have died. You should have died. Okay, so... We need more charge lances, and uh, we need to recruit this person Tarth as soon as possible. We just need more people. We need more people, more everything. And uh, let's actually check the multiplier on that one. Uh, adaption factor was 0 0.09. Randy random factor was 1.37. The one, Randy random factor of 1.37 can go up to 1.4, I believe. So that was pretty much maxed out. Randy can go from 0 0.6 to, to 1.4. So yeah, that was as big as most breacher raids would ever be. We kind of hit the absolute top of end of that. All right. Oh God, hope. Four hours. Uh, Gus, how are... Okay, uh, you are going to bleed out in six, so fair enough, fair enough. You have three in medical. You need to tend to hope without medicine. It's rough, but we need to stop the bleeding. Oh, lost the front paw as well. That is... Oh, we can't get bionics for them either. Damn it. <clears throat> Sorry, Hope. Uh, also, you've no bedrooms now, a bunch of you, so we'll, we'll, we'll fix that in a bit. Well, Hope is still alive. Uh, we managed to stabilize the condition. They're going to be limping, though, from now on, which is a pity. Uh, Gus, I need you to... Yeah. Sorry, buddy. All the way up. Also, we're going to turn off that for the minute. I We're losing power. Did a cable break? Nope, we're good. We're just burning an awful lot of power and trying to keep the place warm. Anyway, we're going to seal this off again. Uh, we lost a bunch of plants due to the cold getting in, but we got half unlucky and half lucky with that one. Unlucky in that we got a termite raid with max damage, and lucky in that they all seem to be just more interested in targeting the walls than us. Okay, I'll take it. Survival. Anything to survive out here. Well, this seems bad. Uh, we have another mech raid. That's, um... It's not good. That's, um... That's disturbingly bad. That is just not good at all at all. 
Right, uh, they are going to attack immediately. Well, uh, how's everyone doing? Gus, you are... Yeah, you still got that dodgy spine and the shattered nose. Jarek is absolutely tip-top. Slim... Okay, not doing great. This... Oh, actually, both of their limbs, or their foot and their, their left foot and the right... How did you get hit in both feet? Serious. Never mind, they must have been doing karate or something. But they got reduced to, like, one hit point in each foot. But this one healed faster because of the bandage quality. Because it got bandaged better, it healed faster. This one, because it had lower quality tending, healed slower. Just good thing to notice. That's why sometimes if I see a really, like, a, a thing that's almost taken over a limb, I'll use good medicine as opposed to, like, just a, a basic heal. If you see it's only lost four or five hit points, don't worry about it so much. You can use it. You don't even need to use any medicine at all. Now, where is Grey Ghost? Grey Ghost, how you doing? You took a hell of a... You're still high on goo juice. <laughs> okay, well, that's a... Uh... Probably not going to last long enough, though. Yeah, it's got an hour in it. Okay, enough procrastinating. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Four pods. Ooh, four pods. Okay, what's the bet at least one of them is a centipede? I mean... Yeah, considering what came in... Yeah, it's got to at least be a centipede in here somewhere. Come on. Show me the centipede. I I'm betting you good money there's a... Okay, I would have lost good money. Or medium money, What? Four scythers? Four? I'm pretty sure we got like three of them in the lat. Okay, uh, Randy Random fac Factor 0 0.53. Okay, I've been reading the wiki wrong. I was pretty sure that could only go down to 0.6. Right, thanks for immediately proving me wrong, Randy. I know that it was exactly why you did it and not because you just want to kill me. All right, uh, Jarek, you still have that in Go Frenzy. Yes, you do. And your mood is still absolutely rocking. I say, oh, God, left the door open. We give Jarek an assault, no, charge rifle. We give Jarek an assault rifle, let him run around outside and kite a lot of them. Um, you can probably have someone peekaboo out the door to take a few pot shots to help, but by and large, this is going to be mostly them. Uh, who could shoot from the doorway and actually do a decent damage? Gus, actually, no, great. You're not worth it. And Slim, you're still too injured. We get Gus, we give them the assault rifle. They should be able to help out. Uh, Gus, uh, we're going to need you over here. Jarek, oh, I'm going to need you over there. We're going to need to start closing this place down. All right, Jarek, go and make us proud. Show those toasters who's boss. Oh, we also got to close the one of these doors. Gus, you can handle that. Get in that doorway and then come um, out like that. Perfect. And we'll close that door to make sure they can't get inside. Jarek is going to go take care of the problem. Why? Because they're a professional and they do the job right. I've got to admit, this has went an awful lot easier than I thought it would. Gus is basically just sitting there plinking away and Jarek hasn't even fired in a while. I mean, nothing's actually died, but, you know, we're chipping them down. They're so slow right now, Jarek can just run circles around them. We have literally run circles around them. Just kill one of them, would you? It would make this kiting so much easier if a few of them were not alive. Oh, you might want to target that one. And then you might want to get back inside. <laughs> well, glory be. Successful conversion. In that case, we shall recruit you. Do you have any permanent injuries that didn't go away? No stab scars, just, you know, some minor injuries, a little bit of malnutrition, and you're not really annoyed about having uh, eaten some people anytime soon. Excellent. Uh, that just leaves this one last Scyther to go, and we are free and clear after two raids. That was strangely not horrifying. I am sort of impressed, Randy. You managed to terrify me, and then, like, terrify me a second time, but then make me feel good about it. Nicely done. All right, we have a second. Everyone's not dying. Everyone's pretty much... Okay, well, Ghost is a little bit close to mental breaking. We had to give him a little bit of a beer to tide him over. But... We can do a conversion. I'm going to do the conversion ritual that I've been meaning to do on Jarek for ages. If it works, great. If it doesn't, then we'll just zap him with a normal convert. Uh, oh god, considering how long it's been... Yeah, their social's probably all gone back up again. It's fine. Alright. Let's see what the social comes out as. Disgust, fear, and safety. Yeah, join us or... stuff. Okay. 
rightness of belonging, explain the moral structure of the universe, sphere and safety, purpose of life, you know, the usual stuff. You know, life, the universe, and everything. Turtles, effective conversion ritual. Excellent. Development points have increased by one, bringing us up to six. Now, that should mean if, for example, we were to go, hey, Slim, hit up Jarek with an actual conversion. Just a regular convert. Religious points should go from six to... Did you actually do that? What just happened? Did I miss something? Damn it. Okay, now do it. And boom. And we've gone up to seven. Ah, excellent. Three more points and we can make some changes to our religion that will make surviving out here a little bit easier. So here was me looking at my component pile going, wait, did we all have 22 components? And then I realized we probably got them off the corpses down here. Only that, this crowd dropped off four more. Our components are going up, not down. That uh, feels very odd. Which means we're getting wealthier, which means we need to burn it off. We've already got 517 steel. We need more converts right now. We can actually put down all the hydroponics we need. We just need some more people to join us. And Gray, you should probably not be doing the conversions because you suck at conversions. Your social is way too low. I mean, you'll get better, but... While Slim takes care of Tarth and converts them, Jarek here is busy putting together flak vests. Namely because we need a little bit more toughness on our pawns. It'll slow us down a little bit, but you know what? The extra protection is quite necessary, and we now have the spare resources to actually make it happen. Though, yeah, did I bring all those components inside? Yes, yes, we did. Perfect. So, three, well, three more flak vests to go, and once they're done, the whole team will be just that little bit tougher. Then it might be an idea to make a few helmets as well. And uh, not flak helmets. Flak helmets are... I think they're not worth the cost. Like, the difference between a simple helmet and a flak helmet is not enough for me, considering the absolute difference in price. Though, ooh, actually, how's our research coming along? Soon we will have chain shotguns, heavy SMGs, and LMGs. That will make things easier, and the psychic drone medium is not going to help. Jarek, let's let's see your needs right there. You're getting a minus 22. Oh. Well, Gray, I have really bad news. We need to get you a better bedroom or do something about that, because otherwise, if we have to deal with this for four or five days, you're either going to overdose on drugs or kill someone. Well, we have definitely improved this room quite a bit. Uh, however, did that work out? That is a normal steel end table. Is it enough? 39. Mediocre. Oh, come on. Right. Let me see what I can do to just tip this over the edge. We need to get it to 40. Impressive is at 39. Once you get it to 40, they'll get a, a mood bonus from this room. To put it just over the edge, we stuck in a silver fence post. These things have six beauty, adds a little bit of wealth to the room. All done. Now they have a decent room. And let's see what you're looking like. Awful bedroom still from the last time you slept in. You slept in the cold, unsightly environment. Okay, it's not that nice, but you know. Serious pain and a moderate psychic drone. All right, please tell me it's going to update and give you a decent bedroom buff. That would be quite nice. Because otherwise, we're just going to have to drug you into it. Oh, there we go. Decent bedroom, plus two. We'll also give you a little bit of psych IT when you get up to keep you going. Oh, and yeah, let, let's maybe move that over there so it increases comfort. That might be an idea. Uh, and please clean your, clean your room before you go to bed, otherwise it won't work. Okay. Ooh. Second flak jacket. It's normal. Jarek, that's all you, buddy. Oh, darkness doesn't affect quality that comes out of these. It's just that Jarek's, well, good, but not the best. Their crafting's 11, so they're going to craft at 50% normal or lower, 50% good or higher. So we just have to live with that. In fact, let's get... How many flak vests? How much? Oh, damn it, we've only that much cloth. Oh, we lost our first cotton crop. Our first cotton crop died in that uh, coal that got let in. Oh, well. Well, a slave ship has shown up, so we're going to immediately start churning out as many thrumble for tail caps as we can and see if we can't grab some components. Hmm. We could sell that one and actually let's see if any of these are any good. Super immune, iron willed, and kind. Oh, wow. And carrying, and capable of carrying and social. Like, I mean, that's... They'd make an excellent shooter. Super immune and iron willed? Mm. Uh, how much? Oh, 1,400. Yeah, we can't afford that. I'm not even sure we can afford any of them. Psychopath, misogynistic, brawler. I mean, wouldn't be completely out of place. Uh, sh oh, wait, that's our one. Engineer, quick sleeper, too smart, lazy. Hmm. Hmm? Yeah, you know what? I wouldn't bother getting all the money together for them. I would much prefer to get our hands on some of their components. Ooh. 
Ooh, wait a minute. Now, I would have liked to get some of these bionics, but yeah, we can't afford them. It's a pity. Uh, no thanks on the rifle. EMP grenades would be tasty, but I think the best thing we can get our hands on is just all of their components. That'll cost us 346, so... Hmm, let's try making another Thrombofirth tail cap and see how that works out. For the price of three Thrombofirth tail caps, we get ourselves eight components and 143 silver. I'm gonna call that a bargain. I think, though, we do want any more of those tail caps out of Thrombofirth. We should probably save that for something better. Instead, we can make the rest out of wolf skin or whatever's lying around. Change in plan. An exotic goods trader has shown up. Wait, no. Wrong one. Yeah, exotic goods trader has shown up. They have, where is it? A psychic shock lance. I want one. I'll like the telescope as well. We might sell one of the thrombo horns. I kind of want to keep the others for melee if we're going to ever use this kill box, which, you know, it would be nice if we actually got to do something with that at some point. Uh, you. Oh, actually, that thing reaches all the way there. In that case, we will just move you to right there. Move them over, that means we can sell those, and you need to get out of bed and get straight to work. Sorry, buddy. Would have liked to let you sleep longer, but uh, needs must and all. Well, we just got a quest, well, crisis of belief, belief for a prisoner, uh, namely because that uh, moderate psychic drone is really hurting them a lot. Then, at the same time, we've got ourselves a quest. EMI Dynamo. No. If someone sets up an EMI Dynamo nearby, everything dies in here. The, the temperature will go, and before we can get close to t shutting it down, we'll lose our entire crop yield. No, thank you. Um, can't afford it, so that quest will just have to stay where it is. When it comes to hats, we've already got one, but we're gonna need a couple more, I think, before we can afford that psychic shock lance. Okay, I think we got enough. We even got everyone to put on their steel helmets, just in case. Ooh, horses. Nope, nope, stop getting distracted. We want that psychic shock lance. It will keep us alive. And, oh wait, this guy doesn't buy hats. You're the only person that doesn't buy tail hats. God damn. Fine. Uh, how many thrombo horns did we have to sell you? Uh, still need to sell you something else, and there's nothing you want belonging to us, but advanced component? Oh, is it worth the advanced component? I think it might be. It'll keep us alive. That advanced component would be useful in the future, but right now... It's not keeping us alive. Psychic shock lance might be the difference between life and death. Yeah, that felt a little painful. Uh, Jerick? Yeah, you're probably... Actually, no. Slim. You go equip that. We'll probably end up giving it to Jerick, though. Hallelujah. 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 Okay. Mechanoid cluster landed not far away. There's a sunblocker. Jump to sunblocker. Okay, then. That's uh, absolute perfection. Uh, darkness meme, anyone? Uh, let's see. I can't see it from here, can I? It, there's a darkness meme you can get, and basically you get a 20% accuracy bonus in the dark. And we will always be in the dark from now on. There will be nothing but darkness. We'll mess this up around the hydroponics, but you know what? So long as we get more damage per second out of it, I'm okay. Uh, we just got to get up to the point where we can reform our religion. We need three more points, so we need to convert three more people or have three successful rituals of some sort. Uh, any coming up? Uh, not that I can see. Wait. 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 Watching the sunset. Um, hate to break it to you, Grey, but the sun set a while ago and it's never coming back up again. Sunblocker's in town. We are, uh, yeah, we're, we're in darkness and have been for ten hours. Sorry, buddy. Right, and I think we have scrapped literally every single Scyther, Pikeman, whatever corpse on the map. We still haven't carried, carried over all the human corpses here, but that happens. Oh, you need to be that. I had to grab some grub. Sorry about that, buddy. I forget occasionally, and we can't let you out all the time. Otherwise, you just wander outside and get yourself, you know, frostbitten. I was just thinking, we're running low on meat. And do you know what happened? Arctic wolves showed up. Nice. Uh, we need to... Well, there's five of them, and there's only four of us, so we need to be really careful about this. Um, in fact, I'd say we're going to need everyone on board. Come on. This is going to be an absolute mess. Actually, we might be able to manage it if we just stay near the doorway. If we retreat into the doorway and get them there, we can just mob them down. All we have to do is convince them. Drafted hunt anyone? Yes, please. Now, all one of you has to do is get a shot off. Come on. Come in range. Perfect. 
Okay, only one of them? Yep, fine by me. Seriously? None of you are turning Manhunter? 100% chance. Uh, that's not 100% chance. Okay, well, there's four of them left. Let's go take them down. I was really, really expecting this to be a lot harder. <laughs> I guess everyone's got a little bit better at shooting. Excellent. Let's uh, bring them inside and store them up. Actually, let's chop them up. We need more food. And I also need more hydroponics, don't I? We're, we're feeding effectively five mouths right about now. We got a prison break. God damn it. We got them down to 3.1. And I left grenades outside the door because I'm an idiot. Uh, yep. Come on, everyone. Let's go, 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 go. What's the bets they go for the grenades? No. Thrombohorn? Molotovs? Oh, God. Well, they set themselves on fire, so... Uh, no, fight fire. No, don't put out the guy with the Molotovs. Put out our guys. Then melee attack him. Muppet. Still, gotta give him an A for effort. That was uh, pretty well done. And uh, did any of our people take any bad damage? No, wait, what? No burns? That makes no sense to me. Never mind. Put him back in the put him back in the hole. Couple of extra hydroponics. Party. Uh, tell you what, the moment you are finished those four meals, you can go join in the party as well. Oh, yep, now we're going to get you a convert. Attending party. Yep, everyone's on the same page. Perfect. A little bit of a mood boost couldn't hurt right about now. All right, I think everything's going well. I mean, okay, Tarth did get the snot beat out of them right before we were about to recruit them. They're down to like one resistance. We might let them not join us just immediately because they can't have a... Me well, catharsis is going to wear off shortly. I think their mood's going to be down here somewhere. I prefer not to recruit them while they're that low down. Unless we absolutely positively have to. Ah, our first crop of cotton is in. You know what that means? Black vests. Excellent. Now that helps a lot. Two more flak vests. That will cost us, what, 60 cloth? 60 cloth, 120 steel, and two components. Yeah, we can afford it. Perfect. Just about. We've managed to scrap everything on the map. There's almost nothing left. We've taken everything. Even the corpses have all been pulled over here. Where are you going? Uh, stargazing. We've got the lot. We scrounged it all together. This is all our wealth in one spot. And Tarth is just, well, they're ready to join us now, but I want to wait until their health is not quite so intensely painful. And finally, after about 150 days, we've got gas-powered operation. That's, um, excellent. We can't actually go beyond microelectronics unless we're willing to invest in a very expensive research table. I think biofuel refining, and then we go back and grab a few more from here. I definitely would like to maybe expand out our drug production just a little bit, or give ourselves some more options. Tea-wise, we're basically topping up our own supply with the tea here. Just to keep our... Oh, that reminds me. I haven't... Yeah, I haven't dosed you in a while, have I? Uh, you know what? Grab a beer when you dr get up and drink some Psychite tea. They've got this chemical bar over here, and it's way down. That gives them a negative mood, and once that have been married thing wears off... Mm, also, they don't seem to be getting a gut-loving bonus at any time. Do they need, like, a super private room or something? Because, yeah, it's been a while. You know, I suppose it's a dull room. Like, what, do you want us to play some music or something? Or I think we're about to have our fifth colonist join us. Come on, Tarth. Join the team. What is it that finally broke you? Uh, promised loyalty. Tarth is accepted and joined. Okay, then. Well, fifth recruit. Time to get you a name and... Oh, wait, how's your health doing? Scratch to the head, not so bad. Scratch to the right ear, scratch to the arm, no permanent scaring. Night Owl and Kind. Now, the great thing about being kind is Gus over here is, well, say ugly would be sort of an understatement. They're horribly disfigured. So what I was thinking was we can hook up Tarth because Tarth doesn't care about how people look. They, they just don't judge people by their looks. They're all about, you know, what's on the inside. And as well as that, we got Gus to maybe grind up their opinion a bit while they were in, in captivity. So I'm thinking we do a little bit of Stockholm Syndrome here on Gus, and maybe Tarth and Gus can hook up? I mean, that's going to leave Grey, Go Grey Ghost out in the cold, but uh, considering the amount of rebuffed stuff that's been going on around here, it, it might be for the best. Where is your... Ah, yes. Uh, yeah, hard worker versus lazy and all this stuff, it's just not helping. Also a bunch of rebuffed. They, they tried to hook up several times, just did not work out. 
Time for a little bit of a Stockholm syndrome here. We'll just, uh, we've arrested Gus for a second, and now we're just going to drive up the social as high as we possibly can to increase the chances of these two hooking up in the near future. Well, that's terrible timing. Raid. Yep. And Randy Random Factor 1.13. This is not going to be a cakewalk. I'm really glad we got that Psychic Shock Lance. Now, who's got it? Who's actually equipped with it? I want to make sure I know this. Yeah, okay, it's on Slim. Okay, uh, Jarek doesn't have their speed boost anymore, so we might have to go to someone to make them run around. Uh, we immediately need to let Gus out. Gus, this was all a horrible misunderstanding. Uh, okay, release immediately. Darth, uh, yep, you can you can be the one to do the, the good deed. Uh, let's see what we're going to be facing. Oh god. Oh, gee. Twelve. If it's Scythers, we have a hope. Oh god. Okay, so we have seven lancers, three pikemen, two scythers. Hmm. We're gonna get a chance to use our little kill box thing after all. Uh Right. Well, this is problematic. Hmm. Give me a minute. Alright, everyone's getting assigned out their jobs. Our th three people with the best melee are getting the thrombo horns. Greg Ghost, I think, is going to run interference. I'm going to send out Grey because, well, they've got good shooting. Uh, and while their stats are good, they're probably the most expendable of the lot. Plus, I couldn't get them to hook up with Gus. So, if they get addicted or anything happens, well, it happens. Don't get addicted. If Yeah, thank you. That means you can now leave. Uh, we're going to use you as a distraction. We can draw even some of them away. Uh, let's make sure. Yeah, let's, let's get you running. Your job will be to siphon off some of the trouble so we don't have to do it all of them simultaneously. Uh, Slim, uh, I'm going to want you to go there. Tarth, I want you to equip that thrombo horn. Uh, where are we going to put you? Damn it, I should have thought this through more carefully. All right, all the shuffling around has been done. Uh, Grey is still trying to annoy them. Hopefully they can draw one or two away. Okay, that's good. Just even a couple to slow this thing down. All right, so we get to try at the corner kill box. Gus is here because if worse comes to worse, they might be able to shoot down whatever stands on top of that tile. Uh, that might be completely necessary. Keep running, keep running. Ooh, yep, yep. Draw them away. Is that a scyther? Oh, that is a scyther. Uh, you know what? I would love to take a pot shot at that scyther, but can't stop just now. We're being chased by lancers. Oh my god, that pikeman just reached miles. Oh god, yes, uh, that's a problem. What's your speed? That's still 5.04. Well, you're going to have to run faster now. How's everyone doing in here? Oh god, we're not doing enough damage to them. We're hurting them, but our melee skill is just not good enough. These are all Lancers, though. That's... Not the worst, actually, if it's just Lancers. Hmm. If we can draw the Scythers away, that buys us some time. Come on. Uh, keep running, keep running, keep running. Actually, shoot the closer one. Ooh, tanked it like a boss. Eh, hey, uh, how we doing? Okay, one down. All right. All right, we might actually do this. I, I like the fact that Gus is just hitting him with the butt of his rifle. Ugh. You just keep running. If we can split these up for as long as possible, it saves our lives. You're running at 5.4. How are they catching you? Oh, you're taking corners. And you're stopping to shoot occasionally. Fine, how's everyone doing down here? Yeah, that is amazing. Uh, Grey, what's your health at? Okay, the gunshot is making you bleed out a bit, but that's fine. We are going to run you all the way around. Oop. Left. Yes. <laughs> oh, serpentine. Serpentine. Right, those scythers are way, way, way too close. Oh, one of the pikemen's made it. Okay, you, get over there. Uh, you, get right behind them. Come on, come on, come on. That worked out beautifully. Okay, so it's a weird kill box, but it kind of does its job, so long as you have, you know, meat. All right. Meat to run around and attract their attention. Those two scythers, though, I'm not quite sure how we deal with them. Oh. Oh, it's going to be very problematic. You need to somehow get in the door. Let me think for a minute. This might be awkward. Those scythers are going to run down Grey Ghost unless we do something. I could, of course, just run him around in circles. Hopefully... 
Problem is their bleeding might eventually slow them down. They're at 5.04, and every time they take a corner, those things close. They just don't have enough speed. Damn it, that gunshot to the right leg. Nope, I'm not going to complain about that. We have been far too lucky as it is. All right, uh, let me come up with a plan. All right, I'll admit this next bit is, is maybe not the brightest thing, but it's, it's what I'm going to try and do. We're going to try and run Ghost through here, in through this door, which will pre-open for them. We'll have this wall segment almost built, and the moment they're beyond the wall segment, we finish constructing the wall segment, because we can't wait for the door to close. These, these scythers are going to be sniffing right up their tailpipe. Uh, though we still have to worry about that pipe mantle. That's moving at 2.4. Well, I'll be more worried about that Lancer getting a shot off. But we don't really have money choices on that front. Now, you're going to want to move to, well, there. Uh, then probably to that corner. Uh, then to there. 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 Okay. Go for it, go for it, go for it. Now, Gus. Okay. Two work left. Let's not mess this up. We have to deconstruct it. That's enough. That's enough. Okay, you're going to stand right there, and when the time comes, you're going to open the door. Oh, God, those scythers are close. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. You're running at 5.4. Why does it feel like you're moving in slow motion? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, God. No, yep, they're going in the door. That's good for us. That's good for us. That's good for us. Uh, okay, we're missing Gus on the line, but that's fine. There's two of them. If they get through, they get through. Don't open the door just yet. We can't open the door just yet. Don't open it yet. Now. Now open it. Perfect. Back here. Back here. Back here. You. Inside. Inside immediately. And you. Nope. I want you to prioritize constructing that steel wall. Ah. Okay. Gray, how's your heart doing? Probably about as good as mine. Right. That's fine. That's fine. All we got left to do now is to beat to death a bunch of scythers. Oh, they're an awful lot tougher than the lancers. So, uh, who wants to go on the wall? Okay, your melee is four. Your melee is two. Gus, Gray, also, you've got that, uh, you've got that go juice running through you. Okay. Go on, hit him, hit him, hit him. Oh, nice Gus. Just hit him from the end there. Don't destroy the walls. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Even Hope's getting in on this one. Come on, come on. How? How are you still going? We riddled you. Okay, your moving is very slow. Manipulation, sight. Okay, major break risk. Who's a major break risk? Tarth. Oh, Trath? Trath, whatever. I've been mispronouncing that name a lot. Oh, we got to rename you too. Hypothermia. Well, okay, look, we were building you a parka. We just got a little bit distracted by a bunch of mechanoids trying to murder us. Uh, numbing cold. Oh, night owl. Look, if you survive the next few minutes, we will get you some beer and some psych IT. That'll warm you right up. Uh, I think we got to move hope again. How's the other side? They're doing 38% health on you, 33. Oh, this is going to be rough. Fine, fine. Um, Give me a second. All right, we have moved hope to the front so that they can tank the scyther. Hope, you're, you're supposed to be changing lanes. What? Oh, damn it. All right, now Hope should move, which I hope is... Oh, you should probably come down here as well. Okay, Gus, you've already been hit. Ow! We want you to pull back immediately. Oh, okie dokie. You stand right there. Hope's going to stand in the center. This is the last one. Come on. Seriously? Uh, maybe we'll pull Hope back. I think Hope is actually in range, so they're trying to aim at her, are they? Oh, they're watching for targets. Come on, Lancer. Just die already. What are you doing? Tarth, uh, you should go grab a beer. Go drink a beer. You'll be grand. And Slim, I think that's a bad corner to put you on. I don't think you're getting off many hits. Yeah, they're getting out of range. Ah, no, you get off two. Not the worst. Three. Well, we got to at least see this kill box in action. As you can see, it is completely overpowered. The ability to strike him without them hitting back means you can do an awful lot. But even at this level, like, we still took damage. Oof. Yeah, we'll get you some decent meds for that before you bleed out in 18 hours. 
Hope is doing just fine, even though her movement has been drastic. His movement has been drastically decreased because of that lost front paw. But we survived our first reasonable sized walk in raid. Please welcome Casey Dunham to the team. Now you all know the routine. This is for you, new people. I only have one rule everyone fights, no one quits. If you don't do your job, I'll shoot you. We will get you a bit. Well, actually, we're going to have to put you back in your room. You're a night owl and you're up too late. You're up past your bedtime and it's making you unhappy. Plus, your room is heated. So go back in there and we'll get you a wolf skin park and park up by the time you wake up. Everyone else, uh, I think medical tending is in order all around. And a round of applause for that solid hold using that totally broken kill box. Once we get more resources, we'll, we'll eventually go with the singularity one. But for now, this is, uh, this is all we could afford. Though, once we grind up all these corpses, we'll have a bunch more steel, and we are also got a bunch more st 12 steel slag chunks. That's 15 steel per piece. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, I'm gonna... Oh, and uh, yeah, I, it, it, the brighter sparks among you may have noticed I, I misplaced that hydroponics basin. Actually, no, that hydroponics basin. Yeah, I need to move that one. Mm, never mind. I will uh, maybe install a little thing that allows me to move those one or two, just because oh, it it's going to annoy me so much if I don't. Anyway, I'm going to cut this out here. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and good luck.